Hi, my name is John Hennessy, and this is the first podcast where we're going to discuss martial arts. And today we're going to talk about uh, Wing Chun Kung Fu, because that is my most popular program when I've been teaching martial arts for um, full time over 20 years, and um, I've been involved in martial arts uh, for over 30 years, uh, graduating from karate all the way from ninth Q and white belt uh, all the way up to fifth dan as it is currently uh, Wing Chun um, graduated from all the way through and up to black stash in the mid 90s and before I give you any more resume let's talk about Wing Chun and why it works because there's a lot of YouTube videos saying Wing Chun versus Karate or Taekwondo versus MMA or Kupera against Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and really you'll hear this again and again and it may be fun to compete um, compare the, the differing styles but really it comes down to the individual it comes down to you the fighter and even if you don't have interest in Wing Chun, I'd encourage you to listen to this podcast because we're um, we're talking about fighting in both a general and a very specific sense. General in terms of a fighter is a fighter, a punch is a punch, a kick is a kick, a block is a block. Um, but specifically, we are going to look at a style. Today we're looking at Wing Chun. I believe very strongly that Wing Chun is one of the most devastating uh, fighting styles in the world and there's a reason why it hasn't needed any major refinements over the years. There's some other very good teachers, uh, some of them who are, have a, a good profile on YouTube, who um, modernize Wing Chun and, and, and say that this is how it would work in the 21st century and I'm absolutely in support of that even though I would say I'm very much on the traditional side of the Wing Chun um, I think it's important to recognize that Wing Chun must have a place in the 21st century and in the centuries to come because if we're fighting uh, on the streets if we have to if we're dealing with knife uh, crime if we're dealing with someone who's potentially got a gun, we've got to know how to disarm them and, and give ourselves the best chance of getting out of there. And before you think, you know, a, a Wing Chun guy can't deflect bullets, you'd be right. Um, but it's often about observing the situation. Is the person close to you or coming into uh, contact with you going to be a threat? And you must adopt, right, regardless of the style you do, you must adopt a style and an approach of relaxed awareness, which means that you are relaxed in doing what you're doing, you know, going about your business, whether it's driving in your car, whether it's walking down the road, where it's, you know, being out uh, on a date with a loved one, uh, being at a family event with your kids or whatever, and it's just, you know, you don't want to think that you're paranoid. You don't want to think that someone's going to attack you. But if you are aware um, of your surroundings, of your environment, then you can react a lot quicker to the situation and deal with it appropriately. With Wing Chun, the idea, regardless of the size and type of fighter, let's say you're 150 pounds and he's 220 pounds, you're five foot eight, he's six foot four. Um, he's rather muscular and built. You you are slim but reasonably athletic, which you should be if you're doing Wing Chun or martial arts in general. The typical money is that the, the stronger fighter is going to win. And why shouldn't it be the Wing Chun fighter? Because if you're concentrating all your power into your fist, if you're concentrating all your power into your kick, if you're concentrating all your power into a finger strike or a jab or a heel kick that is your whole body weight behind the technique a lot of people throw the technique using their arm using their leg but not using their body and the key bit to understand is that the punch is utilized with, with your arm 
your wrist and your, and your fist. Your kick is utilizing your hips and your thigh and your knee, your shin uh, and your foot. But a lot of people that don't think they, they need to train them. They, a lot of people think, well, I've got a powerful kick. But if you haven't got a powerful stance, if you haven't worked in things like horse stance, how can you realistically do a powerful kick? Not everything has to be trained against a solid surface like a wooden dummy or a kit bag. You know, you can be. You can be the solid person. You can, you know, squat, lifting a heavier weight. You can uh, do horse stance for a long time. You can do a neutral basic stance uh, using a rattan ring and just holding that position in a, in a double bonsai, for example. So, so what is Wing Chun and, and, and why does it work so well? I believe it works well because it attacks and defends the center line. And if you understand the center line theory, even if you don't, I'll give you a quick capsule overview of it. When you look down the center of someone's body, from the top of their head, their forehead, their eyes, their, their nose, their mouth, lips, uh, chin, throat, upper chest, solar plexus, stomach, uh, lower abdomen and groin. That's the center line. There's very little point punching someone on the shoulder where the bone is hard. It, it might work as a, as a teaser for a harder shot or a more direct shot. But if you're going to attack in Wing Chun, you need to go direct. You need to be constantly testing that center line. And this is where Wing Chun is probably a little bit more unique as a martial arts style compared to others. And if you um, approach it with that idea, linking in punch drills with kicks, um, reading one of my books is actually a good idea. Um, my second um, non-fiction martial arts book called The Mastery of Martial Arts talks about three things. One, uh, primary leads where you're using three potentially different moves at three different heights. So for example, you could do a heel kick, a right uh, body punch and a left jab uh, to the head. So, it's, so three moves, three different techniques. You could do secondary lead-ins where you're using one move to the same target area. So let's say three body punches using the right arm to the same area to really test your opponent's defense of that area, how vital it is for him and how much he wants to protect it. Because everyone's got their weak spots and for your opponent, if it's on the left rib cage side, you want to attack it with a, a secondary lead in. The other part of it is the so what method, which basically states that whatever your opponent throws at you, you soak it up until such time that you decide you can throw a telling shot back. This could be one second in, two seconds in, a minute in, but you really don't want to be uh, letting it go longer than that. You want to uh, stop it before then. In essence, you want to end the fight in, in seconds. So that's a very brief capsule review of, of Wing Chun. I, I believe that if you're attacking directly, you will end the fight sooner. If you are uh, wasting time on it, you'll find that the fight goes on longer. And the, the takeaway from this is the longer the fight goes on, the more chance you could get hit, hurt, the more chance you could be taken down. And for Wing Chun uh, fighters, most of the time we want to stay on our feet. If you are taken down, it's a huge risk. Um, and I would say if you are on the ground, you're there because you want to be. You're not there because your opponent necessarily put you there. But if you are there, you've still got to use the same principles. You've got to uh, strike and grab and tear and punch and kick and knee any way to get your opponent off you, particularly if he's uh, of a larger frame. Because make no mistake, someone who's 20 stone and can get you on the ground and you're 10 stone and he applies his four onto your throat, it's only going to be one winner in that one, so make sure it's you. Uh, if you want to check out my book, if you want to check out my website, go to one to one martial arts.com for the upcoming uh, online content. And uh, my book, 
uh, my books, The Mastery of Martial Arts and Fights in Seconds, and The Essence of Martial Arts Special Edition are both available on Amazon and other good ebook stores. Thank you.